I've got the bigger chickens locked up over there, letting them chicks out. Come on, yeah, get some bread. Here, Nina. Oh, come on, take a big bite. Nina, she's going right after somebody else. That was a big bite. Here. And I already give them some bread. They want more. Come on. Come on there. That's right. Here, Nina. Oh, she got her a big piece. Uh-oh. Hang on to it, Nina. Let them come out today. Spread their wings. I did have them out with with the bigger group, and they did pretty good, but they were a little scared, so they stayed in there somewhat. So today they get to come out all by themselves. Nina, you're supposed to eat that. <laughs> She's going to walk around with her bread. Come here. Come here. Come here, here. There, that's a big bite. There you go. Come on. There you go. Grab and run. They're, they're just nice little plumpy girls. They're so cute. I hope one day I might have a sitter out of these girls. I don't want to be afraid I hear some sitting out here with them. Oh, big bite. <laughs> some of them, some of them take a big, big bite. So far, I can't tell if I have any roosters here. As far as I know, they all look like hens. I'm so glad to see them come out. Oh, that one has a big piece. Hey, here. There you go. Here, Nina. Are you full? Isn't she pretty? She's Americana. She's a big sister to all the babies. Are, are, are you full, Nina? You want some more? Must be full. I got 11 of these gold ones, so... They're little hungry jacks. There you go. She is really looking pretty. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, she got the bread. <laughs> anyway, it's fine to get them out. I hear a peanut. Well, they'll stay in over there today and then Bill will let them out in the food forest later. And that way, these will stay in here. And I got it pretty safe, strained everywhere pretty well. Keep the hawks out. I just like how chunky they look. They're just so cute. Well, gotta go do some chores. I could sit here longer. We, we just put Pepper in here with the babies. That way if a rattlesnake gets in here, maybe he'll warn them. It's nice to have him in here to watch over the babies. He's looking them over. That way he, he can come in here also. Um, 
You're gonna have to sweet talk them babies. Are you sweet talking? Yeah. That way he can protect them. Yeah. How you like that? You checking out the pen? Hmm? You checking out everything? And RJ, he's going out to the food forest. Hi, girls. Uh-oh, what do you got? <laughs> I like seeing them out. Give me grape, grape leaf. You're Nina. Oh, she didn't get it. They're just, they're just gonna have to get used to each other. Don't look like he's gonna bother him, but he'll be a good protector for him. He'll learn to talk to him, call him, just like his little kids. At least he can get out of the doghouse area. They might even come to him once he learns how to call to him for food. Yeah. I'll, I'll take on later. Hi, there's my old girls. One's cooling off by the water hole. Feels good underneath there. It's 100 degrees right now. Pepper, what are you doing in the doghouse? Hmm? Did you get tired of babysitting? I'm gonna check on the chicks. See what they're up to. I turned some water on. <laughs> And uh, let them cool their feet off. It's 100 degrees. I bet they like that. The chicks come flying out of the building. Yeah. How nice is that? So I'm going to bring that water over here to the chicks. Well, they like it too. And cool their feet off. Here comes RJ. RJ, are you going to run them youngsters off? Uh, oh, he wants to stand in the water too. Oh, he's telling his girls, look what I found. Water hole. Here comes another one of his girls. Come and join in the pool of water. I thought I might come out here turn a little bit of water on for the little babies. They got lots of shade out here. And they're going to enjoy playing in the water. I think bugs start moving with the water and they can peck, it, peck the bugs out. Well, thanks for watching from Mount West Homestead. I just come out and check. But Pepper needs to come out and join them. Nice little cool their feet off. Pepper, come on out. <laughs> That'll cool them down for a little bit. Oh, got your feet wet. Oh. Look at Nina, she likes it. She likes getting her feet wet. Keeps looking like rain every evening, but we're not getting nothing. I'll just come out here and give them a little bit of coolness. 
This is why Peppers over here. He says, I want to talk to these girls. I don't have nothing to say to them little chicks. Pepper, you're going to have to learn to be a daddy. Quit ignoring them little babies. Well, it's going to work out. You'll have to get used to them. Back to the water hole. And everybody else is gone. There's some in the front yard. Yellow bellies out in the driveway. Uh, the Americanas out there. The white chicks and RJ, they were over here. They can go out if they want. The old girls, they can go out that way. So everybody's out. Look, here comes the wine dots. They heard me. Yep. And they were pretty. Oop, there they go. There's Duck and his girls and the guineas. They're in the backyard. Nice and cool back here. Somebody seen my sign that said duck on the fence. They wonder if we had a duck. Right there is our duck. Yep. When he was little, he quacked like a duck. So we named him Duck. He did quack, 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 quack. That's his name, Duck. Yeah, that's a guinea. They're just out here messing around in the shade, staying cool, digging holes, feeling good. What are you doing out here? Here's Yellow Belly. What are you hey, Yellow Belly. <laughs> what are you up to? That's uh, his little girl. He has another one somewhere. Yep, they're just out here enjoying the driveway. Okay, I'm going to leave you alone. Stay cool.